Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Project 64 to emulate games on your computer. And it's very simple to do. First thing we got to do is go to their website, click on Get Project 64, download the installer, and you can really just click through the installer. If you want to change the location to where it's installed, feel free to do that. And after we do that, it's going to ask us what language we want to pick. And we're literally done with the setup. Just like that. So next thing we have to do is program our controller in there. So we're going to click on Options and go to Configure Controller. And here we're just going to map out the keys that would be on an N64 controller to either our keyboard or an Xbox 360 controller or whatever else. So you click on the key and hit the corresponding button that you'd like to use as that key. And after you're done, go to the top, click Save Profile, name it whatever you want, and I save it in the emulation folder so in case the controls ever become undone I can just click on load profile up top there and load it back up so click save and we're done with the controller and at this point we're actually we could actually play a game but before we do that let's set up our graphics settings so we can get our old games looking super dope just so you know you don't have to exit the emulator I accidentally did though so to set up our graphics we're gonna go to options and then click settings Go to plugins and pick Glider 64. Hit apply and then OK. Then back to options and click on configure graphics plugins. If you're not playing in full screen for windowed resolution, I pick 1280 by 960 because it's not too big. The full screen resolution that's there by default is fine. Click everything off except for the clock settings and click show texture enhancements options click apply and on the second page under filter go to smoothing 4 and for enhancements I usually go for HQ 4x the bottom option but honestly enhancements is really a preference and it varies per game and the last thing is under format click the little drop down and go to rice format and then click OK and we're absolutely done your controller set up your graphics are gonna look super nice and you can play n64 games all you want So I'm going to leave you with that, and if you enjoyed this video or thought it was helpful, maybe you should check out some of my other videos, and like, subscribe, whatever else. You guys have a good one. Peace out, homies.